Hi, my name is Abel Sanchez. I'm a filmmaker, musician, and second generation Mexican American. The mural you'll see here is a visual anthem to the Mexican American experience. It was created for a film by Andres Alegria and myself, Abel Sanchez. It's called Song for Cesar, a documentary about the artists behind the movement led by American labor leader and civil rights activist Cesar Chavez. It was painted by George Yepes, a world-renowned Mexican-American painter. Cesar is a central figure flanked by agricultural workers to the right and female strikers to the left. He worked in the fields in California as a young man. It was there he grew to understand the plight of workers, their mistreatment, by landowners, low wages, and abhorrent living conditions. He ignited a major movement that changed the course of history for Mexican people here in America. All of us are looking for a place under the sun. By that I mean for a union that we can belong as farm workers, which is going to be built by farm workers, and it's going to be for farm workers. Cesar and fellow activist Dolores Huerta formed the National Farm Workers Association, which later became the United Farm Workers of America. The UFW movement, as it was called, activated farm workers, uniting them in peaceful protest over their working and living conditions and demanding action. There had been a lot of uh, efforts at organizing unions, but none that ever really took hold. And so we look back now and we see that we started the United Farm Workers in 1962. That's when we started the union and that it's still alive and well today. And so many thousands of farm workers have benefited, you know, from uh, the laws that we passed and, uh, you know, just having toilets, <laughs> toilets in the field and a medical plan and pension plans that the workers have and better wages. And it's uh, just, I mean, to me, it's like a miracle. And so when you're given an opportunity uh, to work in the process of performing a major miracle, I mean, you know, what more can one ask for? That's got to be the most... Uh, the biggest blessing that one could ever ask for in this world. And uh, I'm very fortunate that I, that I was, you know, part of it. Their work changed long-held misconceptions about Mexicans here in the U.S. and provided a new heightened sense of pride, dignity, and contribution that continues to grow amongst not just farm workers, but all Mexican Americans throughout the country. Women like Dolores Huerta are front and center in the mural. To the left of Cesar Chavez, women led the huelga, or strike. They played leadership roles in the United Farm Worker Movement, which was critical in helping achieve its goals. The words and notes above the huelga women are from De Colores, a traditional Mexican song popular since the 16th century. This is the anthem for the United Farm Workers. The symbol of the movement is present above Cesar's shirt pocket. It is an Aztec symbol, an eagle with its wings outstretched. The eagle carries the spirit of the Aztecs and ties the people to nature, honoring the indigenous roots and Mexican heritage of many of the farm workers and unifying peoples past and present. Such symbols of identity, strength, origins, beginnings, and unity are incorporated throughout the mural. All of them are rooted to the history of the Mexican people. Flags of the United Farm Workers Movement bear the Aztec Eagle, as well as those of Mexico and the U.S. They repeatedly appear throughout the mural, emphasizing the merging of cultural identities and strengths present in each. The Virgen of Guadalupe, the Virgin Patron of the Americas, and the red roses that reflect her miracle are symbols that pervade this mural and symbolize a unification of the Hispanic and pre-Hispanic worlds. Harvard professor Maria Luisa Parra Velasco recounts her story. Cuentan que la Virgen de Guadalupe se apareció por primera vez en el Cerro Sagrado del Tepeyac al chichimeca Juan Diego y le pidió en náhuatl que hablara con el arzobispo para construir una capilla en su honor en la cima del Tepeyac. 
el arzobispo no creyó la historia de la aparición de la Virgen hasta que un día Juan Diego le trajo en su tilma, su manto indígena, unas rosas que habían crecido en el cerro fuera de temporada. El arzobispo vio las hermosas flores y también la imagen de la Virgen impresa en el manto de Juan Diego. Entonces cayó de rodillas y ordenó la construcción de la capilla. Hoy, millones de personas de los muchos México y más allá viajan a la hora basílica para adorar a la Virgen y ser abrazados por su amor cada 12 de diciembre. A green agricultural landscape stretches across the mural. It's a significant presence that unites the whole and a representation of the relationship of reciprocity between the people and the land. The giving of labor by the people and the land giving its bounty in exchange. Crops like potatoes, tomatoes, squash, peppers, and beans all originated in the Americas. They were grown for thousands of years by our ancestors who labored in the ancient agricultural fields of Mexico and across Central America. The Mexican-American farm workers that work our fields today provide not just their labor, but ancestral knowledge of cultivating so many of the most valuable crops that service this nation. And yet, such labor has typically been devalued and degraded. Yeah, we want to work with good quality and we want to provide good production for the employers. We want to give them a fair day's work. But in return, we want the respect that we deserve as human beings, as people that do a job that is really, it's incomparable here in this country. Not just everybody can walk in the fields and pick grapes or pick uh, oranges or cut lettuce or cut broccoli or cauliflower or pick mushrooms or cut roses. It takes a lot of skill, a lot of knowledge, a lot of commitment on the part of that worker to be able to do it and to do it in a way that's profitable for the employer. But even so, the mural reflects pride. It elevates and dignifies the contributions of labor and specifically its contribution as a creator of a new life. Give to the land and the land gives back. The United Farm Workers Movement inspired many musicians, artists, poets, writers, and actors to get involved and to do what they could to support this cause. In particular, music is a vital component of Mexican-American culture and can be seen in various points across the mural. It is a reflection of the Mexican-American experience of both love of a people and country and of struggle. On the right, three guitar players, including myself and of my late friend and collaborator, Latin guitar legend Jorge Santana, play a tribute to the farm workers. Music has always been part of our history as, as, uh, as far as our, our, our Mexican roots. The corrido goes all the way back to you know, uh, the Mexican Revolution of 1910. It was a musical broadside, it was a musical flyer that communicated um, stories and heroes of the, the Mexican Revolution. So it, it's an easy fit for, uh, you know, fast forward to the, the Chicano movement and the, the United Farm Workers. You get a couple of guys with a couple of guitars on a flatbed truck going through the fields, just letting people know this is where we're at. El Teatro Campesino is called out on the UFW banner and reflects the importance of organized bilingual street theater in advancing the UFW movement. The theater provided entertainment that honored and reinforced the value of Mexican-American workers, presented the conflicts they faced, but also put forth humor and solutions. I know what's good for all of you people. That's why, I'm, that's why I want to tell you right now that there is no strike. No. The Mexican-American experience is an American experience. It is now recognized as such thanks to the movement inspired by Cesar Chavez, which is illustrated here in this mural. The people of many Mexicos, their history, culture, art, and music are an integral part of our shared American story.